Hello student, in this class we will learn how to enable and disable selection brackets in 3ds Max 2020 or 21st. So first I create some object. First I create a plane and then create a sphere and make a splendor. Now I apply a material. So first I select all the object and apply the first material. When you select any object, the selection bracket appear. You can off the selection bracket in earlier version by pressing J key. But in the 2020 or 21st version, J key is not work with the selection bracket. 3ds Max introduced a new tool for these things. Click on the fourth level. It's related to shadings. In the bottom, a new tool is available here. Preview preferences. When you click on this, so there are two different tabs. And in the second tab, there is the option selection brackets. If you click and apply, so these selection brackets is disabled. In this tab, other tools also available like edge face. If you enable this without pressing F4, edges show all the time. You can enable and disable. And if you want to enable these edges for selected object only, so there is a another option display selected with edge face. If you on this, on the selected object display these edges. There is another important tool, viewport clipping. If you enable this, these yellow lines will appear. And if you click on the bottom slider in the upside, so it's clip the viewport like this. If you are facing any viewport clipping problem, you can enable this and change the slider position like this so so your problem will fix in the first step there are a couple of tools related to rendering label lighting and shadow and quality related options so you can change these according to your requirement and you can also control the highlights of any object by uncheck this checkbox like this And the second checkbox related to shadow, you can enable or disable shadow without creating any lights. And you can also change the shadow density by changing the value like 0.7, very light, or you can choose 0.5, a very light shadow. In the bottom section, these options are related to material rendering labels. You can change to, you can change to advanced or other options also available here. If you want to override any material, you can choose these options override with flat shaded like this or you can also apply the checkbox. It's a very helpful map to identify the stretches on the surface. You can fix these. 3ds Max introduced all these tools in a single window. In the previous version, these all tools are available in the different places in the different window. So sometimes they are very hard to find. I hope you like this tutorial. If you want to learn 3ds Max from the basic course information available in the i button or you can also find these information in the descriptions. I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe my channel and like this video. Now we meet in the next class.